Hello Children's Academy pupils, my name is Neil Pugh, I work for the Football Association, um, I uh, investigate breaches of the FA's rules and regulations, um, so I have to try and prove it when somebody's done something wrong in terms of off the pitch matters, so it could be match fixing or a player failing a drugs test, um, or discrimination which might take place on the football pitch, or uh, maybe some financial irregularities, or a football club or an agent trying to hide money um, which they should be paying to the authorities um, and they're trying to keep it for themselves. So wide range of things. Um, I was a detective before this job in the police, a very similar role in terms of the principles of what I was doing. So I used to investigate things and prove um, that somebody has committed a crime against the, the law of the country. And now I just deal with breaches of VFA's rules and regulations. But um, in principle, it's, a, it's the same job investigating things. So I've done, done that for about 15 years. Um, the um, best thing about my job is probably now because I work in football, I get to deal with things that a lot of other people are just reading about on Twitter or in the newspapers and speculating about. Um, and I get to, to, to deal with it in the, in the first instance and speak to the people involved and, um, yeah, and, and, and know exactly what's happening um, when other people are just guessing or um, trying to have an idea about what's, what's going on. So it's quite cool to be involved in, in football because people are interested in it and, and I've been interested in football all my life so to work in an industry which I would um, that which I would take an interest in other uh, even if I wasn't working in it is is really really good um, in regards to subjects which you guys can could take that um, could lead you in down a route, a route of being an investigator um, English language is certainly important um, I speak to a lot of people witnesses um, suspects carrying out interviews of people and my use of language um, is really important in getting people to, to trust me and talk to me and open up to me um, and give me information and evidence which I might need to, to try and prove my cases. Uh, and I also have to present documents and statements um, at Crown Court or in judicial processes. Um, and the quality of my English is, is really important in, in that um, because that reflects upon the investigation that I've done. If I've got poor spelling or poor grammar in my documents, then um, people making assessments on, on my investigation may well look at that and think that that means that my, the standard of my investigation is poor. Um, so, yeah, the level of your English can reflect upon um, how well you do um, in other areas, which may not be fair or, or, or right, but um, I think that's probably a reality of a lot of, a lot of work. Um, we, when we're recruiting, get people to write, um, they give them five or ten minutes to write a summary about a document um, without the use of a computer so we can see how how good their grammar and their spelling is without without using it something that's going to correct it for them um, because we think that gives um, gives us an idea about how how good that person is in terms of their English and how how quickly they can learn and adapt um, so um, yeah English language certainly um, and the other area that I think is quite useful um, for, for carrying out investigations is psychology um, to understand how the mind works and what motivates people and why people might behave in a certain way is really important in, in trying to understand why they may have committed a crime um, and um, there's a lot of a, a lot of literature about um, psychology and um, why certain types of people go into certain types of, of offending and if you understand that it can help you um, in in carrying out your investigation and and, and helping you um, to direct your investigation in a, in, a, in a certain way, so I think that's quite quite useful. Um, in regards to choosing your subjects, um, I would say that if you have an idea about what you want to do in your life, then obviously have a look at the degree you need to go and do and what subjects help you get there. Um, I'm sure you've had that advice from a number of other people. If you're not sure what you want to do um, for the rest of your life, um, then that's fine. I don't think that's a problem at the age you're at now, but do subjects which you enjoy. Um, I think that um, if you enjoy doing something, it, it makes it much easier and, um, and, and, and you're probably likely to be much better at doing a subject which, which you enjoy because you're, you're willing to spend more time looking into it and delving and asking a few more questions because you're genuinely interested in it. Um, for me to work in, in football now makes going to work not seem like a chore to me. Um, and I think that's, that's a really important um, aspect of where you want to go in your, in your lives. Um, it certainly is for me anyway. Um, so I'd say, yeah, pick subjects that you enjoy. Um, and, and obviously um, I would say that sticking to um, subjects that such as English and maths are always going to stand you in good stead and a lot of companies will always look at those subjects and see how somebody performed in English and maths 
um, regardless of what that role might be. Um, so yeah, those subjects definitely, and I think the, the way of the world now is that it's um, it's a much smaller world and we're communicating with people from different countries much more regularly and, and so languages are, are also important. Um, I've been, um, had two job opportunities recently which I couldn't take because I didn't speak a second language um, and, and I think that's that's much more common now that um, a second language is is um, useful um, in carrying out work for, for especially for companies that which are international so um, a language is never gonna never gonna be hold you back um, so yeah that's that's probably my my advice um, I'm sure you've had lots of other good advice from from your teachers and other people people doing this um, but yeah my pr primarily I would say that, that stick to subjects which which you enjoy um, because I think that's gonna it, it will lead you to getting better results in the long long run. Um, but whatever it is you go for, good luck um, and uh, I hope it all works out for you.